So what does the increase in temporary workers for this holiday season mean for the economy? Mark Hamrick joins us, senior economic analyst at Bankrate, and he's going to tell us exactly that. Welcome, Mark. Nice to have you here. Good to be with you, Sue. This is also coming at a, a record tight labor market. So the retailers and the shippers may want to add all those seasonal workers. But where are they going to get them and how much are they going to have to pay them? Well, you referenced at the top, they may just have to pay people more money, you know, and that's part of the uh, equation here. It's interesting, Sue and Bill, though, uh, we got the job openings numbers, as you referenced earlier today, and the number of job openings in retail uh, in this latest month is down some 15 percent from a year ago, and it's even a more dramatic decline in the wholesale trade. That uh, number is down almost 30 percent. So uh, I think that overall we'll probably see you know, flattish numbers in seasonal hiring. While consumer spending is up uh, more than 5% uh, year over year, we know that job cut announcements have been running hot uh, in the retail trade. And so, among other things, uh, some of these retailers are going to be able to find displaced workers, uh, but also find people uh, who may be drawn into the workforce, as we saw in that August employment report. Flattish compared to last year, but still, when you think about it, I mean, just in the last few days, the back of the envelope numbers tell us that there are about 280 80,000 job openings when you talk about the UPS uh, hiring, Target's hiring, Amazon's hiring, now Wendy's hiring another 20,000 workers. I mean, that still sounds like a pretty uh, strong labor market right now, clearly. Uh, uh, well, I think, Bill, over the last previous four years, we've actually been seeing the number of seasonal hires decline in retail. So uh, we'll see whether this year uh, marks a strong uptick there. Uh, let's remember also that in the context of the broader labor market, there's still millions of workers who are working part-time that would like to have full-time work. And we still do think that we can have increased increased labor market participation. We know that some enterprises have been changing uh, what they're willing to quote unquote accept with respect to workers doing things like uh, allowing people uh, to be employed who might have uh, some uh, uh, criminal past or even uh, unable to pass a drug test. Not necessarily optimal, but uh, you know they're having to shake things up a bit. Right. And as you mentioned, they may have to pay people more. And if that is indeed the case, even though it may be a seasonal or transitional period, what's the economic impact of that? Obviously, it weighs on profit margins. And, you know, in a way, you have to feel for retailers right now because they're being hit by a virtual tsunami. Obviously, they're having to manage through the tariffs and trade disputes impact, the uncertainty that is beginning to weigh on consumers somewhat, and then obviously higher costs uh, that reflect, are reflected in both uh, labor costs as well as uh, the goods they're importing right now. Mark Hamrick with Bankrate.com. Thanks so much. Thank you.